Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to show you an inexpensive, easy way to keep cool when the grid's down this summer when it's extremely hot. And I'm going to do that by showing you at first this Arctic air here. Now, there's a lot of videos that bad mouth and say rotten reviews about these Arctic airs. And that's because they're comparing these with air conditioners. This is not an air conditioner. If you have an air conditioner and the grid is up, use it. But if the grid is down and it's extremely hot and there is no air conditioner, this will work as an alternative. Now, the scenario I'm going to show you is we're going to talk about the Arctic air being on. Also, we're going to have a lamp right here because you might want that in the middle of the night. And where this works extremely well is when it's very hot, very humid. You or your kids or both can't get to sleep because it's just too stinking hot. This is extremely helpful. All right. So I'm not going to do an entire review on this. I just want to show you some of the components and how very easy this is. All right, so first of all, we have the Arctic Air here. This is a 2.0, a chill, and it costs around $35. Real simple to use. You simply, of course, now when you get it, get the directions, read through it. All you really need to do is put water into this. To make it cooler, you can even add some ice, like I'm about to do now. Don't drop it like I do, it's just the way shoestring is. Now, if the grid's down, you don't have ice, that's fine. It will still work. To turn it on, we're going to need to run our system. I have a 200-watt modified sine wave inverter. This one costs about $25 or so. I'll put a link below so you can find these. This is an AGM sealed lead-acid battery, around 35 amp hours. I'll put a link to it. Now... I've got them both connected easy enough. We'll go ahead and turn it on. I also have a kilowatt here. So we can show you just how many watts this is going to take. And it's not very much at all. This will run all night for you. Or if it's just hot during the day and it's hard to breathe because you've been out working and you want to come in and take a break, you sit down in the chair, put this Arctic air next to you, Turn it on, which I'm now about to do. Then you can see it start to work as well. Okay, you can't feel it, but I can. And I am letting you know this is extremely cold. Really doesn't do much more than five feet. So you lay this next to your bed, next to your head, or whatever you want to cool down. And it will work really well. On high, it runs about 8 to 10 hours. And you can also have it last longer by turning it down. You have three different settings you can do. High, medium, and then, then of course, off. Okay, so this close, you can feel how cool it is. Again, this is not an air conditioner. If you have an air conditioner, use it. Right? I would. This is... Alternative, back up. So let's take a look over here at our kilowatt. Let's get it up here where we can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it. That's 8.8 .8 at the moment, kilowatt, 8.8. .8. And this is on, as you can see, high. And like I said, I don't have anything to measure it with, but I can feel that's coming out cold. All right? Now... It's the middle of the night, and you also want a light, a lamp of some sort. This is just your standard, cheap old dollar store Walmart lamp. We're going to put it on, come back and take a look at our kilowatt. 15.6, just around 15. That's all, 15 watts. This is 35 amp hours, so it will easily run all evening and then in the morning, you just charge this back up. But this is a short, simple video because grid is going out different places all over the country. And it's going to get really hot. You might want to cool yourself or your kids down. No, this is not an air conditioner. 
No, it will not cool your whole house. It probably won't even cool a whole room. It's not made to do that. You sit in front of it or lay in front of it, and it works really, really well. Very inexpensive for all this setup. Under $135 and very few watts. So like I said, I'll put a link down in the description. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like these videos, like, subscribe, and share. Hit the little notification bell. Shoestring out.